guys, Rebecca Cruz here, Director of Fun. Welcome back to another edition of the Fun Report. Well, right now we've got gorgeous weather, and this being a long weekend for many people, Monday, of course, being Memorial Day, a lot of us have an extra day off. Well, there are plenty of ways to get out and enjoy this gorgeous weather and long weekend, so let's get started. Okay, first of all, if you haven't already registered, ChattanoogaHasFun.com is giving away a pair of tickets to the fantastic Bonnaroo 2009 two tickets. If you haven't already registered, you need to. Your time is running out. We will be announcing the winner at Deluxe Grill and Tap this Friday night. Come join us from 8 until about 11.30, just before midnight. We're going to be actually announcing the winner. The very, very lucky person is going to win a pair of passes to Bonnaroo about 10 o'clock. So if you haven't already registered, click on the banner or in the giveaway corner, or you can register the day of the uh, giveaway announcement which is this friday may 22nd meet us at deluxe grill and tap right across from miller plaza with 40 beers on tap this friday night at 8 p.m okay this friday marks the return of the downtown partnerships annual nightfall concert series this is the 20 first year of free music every Friday night or most Friday nights beginning this Friday, May 22nd. Music kicks off about 7 to 7.30 p.m. and this week is going to feature Lil Malcolm and the House Rockers. That kind of gives you a little hint about what kind of music they play and opening up will be the Dexter Thomas Band. You don't want to miss it. Chattanooga Has Fun will be there. So come on out and join us for a good time this Friday for the first of a long series of nightfall free concerts. This also marks the 34th annual 1890s Day Jamboree, which is actually a two-day event this Friday, kicking off at 6 p.m. right on the downtown square in Ringgold, Georgia, right there on Nashville Street. The entire town shuts down for this great event. They'll have music on three different stages, plenty of vendors, a car show, a parade, a pancake breakfast Saturday morning, all the information you need in the kids and family section. The Hamilton County Parks and Recreation Department host the fifth annual Beach Blanket Free Movie Night out at Chester Frost Park. Just grab a picnic, grab, grab your frisbee and a couple of blankets or some chairs and come on out for a great time, family friendly, fun event and a free movie. What could you, what more could you ask for, right? The movie starts right when the sun goes down. So be sure to be out there in time to get a good seat. More information in the kids and family section. The Tennessee Valley Canoe Club hosts the second annual Bring Your Own Boat, either kayak or canoe or raft or whatever you want to float down the Tennessee River in, uh, event this Saturday kicking off at 10 a.m. And they'll have some equipment that you can borrow, but if you have your own boat, bring it. This is a family-friendly event. More information for you in the Kids and Family section. The North Shore Merges Association hosts the first ever Hip Fest out on the North Shore. It'll be throughout Coolidge Park in the North Shore area. There'll be activities and games for kids, live entertainment, and plenty of sidewalk sales. More information for you in the Kids and Family section. Pops in the Park returns to the Chattanooga Chickamauga National Military Battlefield this Saturday, kicking off at 7 p.m. This year it's going to feature the Armed Forces Band, and you don't want to miss this. This is a really cool event, and they actually, it's a free to the entire family, and they actually have fireworks right after the concert. And more information for you in the special events section. The now annual Who Fest Arts Festival, which features folk and local and regional artists all from around this area in the, ten in the Tennessee Valley, returns to Renaissance Park this Saturday and Sunday. This event is free and open to the public. More information for you in the arts section. The Chattanooga Market this Sunday, kicking off at 11 a.m. and running through 4 p.m., is going to feature the Beast Feast barbecue cook-off competition. So that tells you there'll be plenty of barbecue for your sampling. And also there still are strawberries left over from um, last Sunday and this year's crop, of course. So be sure to check out the Chattanooga Market. It's a free event every Sunday from 11 to 4 at the First Tennessee Pavilion. And that's it for this week's edition of the Farm Report. Have a fabulous rest of the week and weekend and catch us back here next Wednesday to find out all the activities and festivities going on in 
and around the Chattanooga area that you absolutely positively don't want to miss right here on ChattanoogaHas1.com, your official site for fun.